That just happened by accident, walking in the door a hundred times. And that's just the way I walk in Philly. Most people in Philadelphia, they were, in most cities, you know, when you think you're bad and cool, and, <laughs> in a different neighborhood, trying to impress. It's all, you know, just... Oh, we had a lot of freedom on the Jeffersons. Um, I, I had a lot coming in as the maid, because my mouth running. If I was you, I'd listen to my wife. When it comes to brains in this family, you outvoted. <laughs> One to nothing. They always allowed, when we sat at a table and did a reading, they always took all of our notes when they went back. Input, yeah. And, and they took all of our input and then they went back to work on the script and then come back. But before that, it was always, they sit at the table without us, do their notes, and then go back. And we never know what's going on. So consequently, a lot of actors don't like what the, you know, what comes back out of the uh, note session. And they didn't have an input. But now that they have an input, they have more of an idea how we feel about the character. And a lot of times we were correct. So uh, they use it. But, you know, Sherman is such a lovable person, always, that, mm -hmm. you know, at some point in the script, you know, what is it, four or five years, he said, but, you know, Tom and I are friends. I just, I'm not comfortable calling him Honky anymore. It's time for me to stop calling him Honky. Mm -hmm. And then it took on a different thing. Uh, and I think because he, he has love all the time, he always speaks love, that um, that that love shines through that character so people loved him we finally no matter got, what he did finally got him to stop saying zebra too yeah. right yeah. right it was funny for a while but yeah, after, after a while it gets really old after yeah. you don't feel good saying it mm. and if you don't feel good then that's going to come across also it's one of the first shows that hit that the, the lot they're always hitting it nowadays 200 but it was one of the first that hit 200 i remember that I remember Norman bringing in the cake and all that. You know, the networks sometimes lose, lose faith in shows because they have them in the wrong time slot. I remember being asked to leave the Jeffersons and to, to do a spinoff, and I said no. I said I'd rather be number nine on a hit than number one on a flop. <laughs> and I said, I've been going around the country and this show is hot. I said, if you just, you don't, I said, you keep moving us, people can't find us. I said, so if you're not going to help us, why don't you just leave us alone? Put us in one slot, leave us alone and let the people find us. And they did that one year. It was a Sunday and mm -hmm. we shot to the top 10. And after that, we just kept running. When well, Norman Lear <laughs> likes actors, and there are a lot of directors and producers who could care less about us. Mm -hmm. They don't show it, but you can tell it, and they just get on with it, do the lines, and go home, you know? <laughs> but yeah. there are 50% of them are like that, but Norman is one that really loves his people. <laughs>